people of 21st century have realized the importance of science. So they listen to the scientists and try to understand what they are saying. Also when the matter comes about the security and privacy of scientists, government is very strict about this. But the condition was not the same a few centuries ago. Like from 15th to 19th century, there were a lot of great scientists who came up, who created history, who contributed a lot to science, yet they were not given the importance they had to be given by the society. Either the people were not understanding what the scientists were trying to say, or the ruling force were not allowing them to be to go so wild in their discoveries, inventions and innovations. And also lack of support was another major reason that discouraged young scientists back then. So here is a list of few scientists whose contribution to science and maths was immense, yet their death was a tragedy. Let's begin. First one, Anthony Lavoisier, also known as the father of modern chemistry. He was the first one to tell that 20% of air is oxygen and that when something burns, it is actually chemically reacting with oxygen. He is also famous for his discovery of law of conservation of mass, wherein he states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. This man was wise and also wealthy. And this was the problem. Being wealthy was seriously hated during his time. And uh, which time did he live in? During the French Revolution. Yes, he was also the administrator of a body that was something related to collecting taxes. And this topic was also heavily hated. Anthony Lavoisier was executed or guillotined at the age of 50 during the reign of terror. Even though he was wise, he was wealthy, he was unfortunate. Now moving on to our second scientist, it is Archimedes. Yes, the famous Archimedes. His death was also a tragedy. I'll tell you that, but before a bit of introduction. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician, inventor, and an astronomer. Overall, a brilliant scientist. He's famous for his law of buoyancy and many more mathematical discoveries which he did back then. That's enough. Uh, during the siege of Syracuse, he was murdered by a Roman soldier despite orders that he should not be harmed. Now, that's a tragedy, right? Coming to our third scientist, it is Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, famous for his contribution to the designing of alternating current system. He is famous for his invention of Tesla coil, which is still used in radio technology. This man's intelligence was just wasted by the people of 19th and 20th century. Why I say this is because he had such advanced ideas as I told earlier people didn't understand what he was trying to tell. His ideas were perceived to be harmful and life taking. Because of unhealthy competition he wasn't given the recognition he deserved. He was not financially supported because people were not ready to support. By the end of his life what happened was that he grew so poor that he couldn't even afford to pay his hotel bills. Sadly, he writes to his mother that he dedicated his whole life serving the mankind and all he taught him was humiliation and disrespect. So it's really very sad to see such a great scientist writing something like this. And he died because he had nothing to eat by the end of his life and he died because of blockage in his heart. But if you take a close look at his life, it is clearly seen that his whole life was a tragedy. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.